I found Nawi's work really inspiring because she has a real curiosity and interest in probing into how people are thinking at a level of depth that is really quite uncommon. I also like the fact that she likes to experiment. She likes starting to go down a path with her work, not really knowing where it's going to end up. The broad is an experiment. The whole, you know, place is an experiment. And people encourage you to take risk. It really fosters creativity, innovations. I spend a lot of time walking around the institute on each floor, every possible wall, they have this huge whiteboards. And then on the whiteboards, oftentimes I found these interesting writings that were left by scientists. And of course, I really don't understand what this means. I don't understand what it says, but I found the writings, the handwritings, to be really fascinating and also beautiful. So I started tracing uh, without really knowing what I'm gonna do with them. I was collecting a lot of that sort of data for me. One of my projects is called sequencing and I'm incorporating the article title Initial Sequencing Analysis of Human Genome that was originally published in February of 2001 in Nature and I'm using that article and juxtaposing it with this old medical text I came across um, that came from 1600 BC in ancient Egypt. And this is the oldest known medical document that we know of that included treatment and prognosis. I'm using those trace writings and I'm putting those sheets together to create layers and layers and layers of that on top of the human genome articles. So I'm trying to create this sort of interesting synergy with something really old and something what's happening now. You know, human beings are seekers, seeking for new knowledge, discoveries, and truth. So we're always seeking, and then for physicians and researchers and scientists, we're all, you know, they're always looking for the best treatment at that time. So we're only gonna go forward. But at the same time, taking time to even look back or look around or going back to the starting point to see the things differently is really important. We should be questioning ourselves. We should be pressing the boundaries. And I think this is just another uh, example of the Broad being adventurous, the Broad doing experiments, and the Broad trying to look at important problems, even if they're old problems, through a new kind of lens.